Hi and welcome to another UK EDC video review. Today we're going to be looking at something special. <laughs> this is a Simon Hardy design Ashdown Forest Craft custom Bushman knife. Okay, as you can see it's quite a short blade designed for bushcraft, bushcraft and it's a full tang design with cherry handles and black liners. Liners are just the bits between the handles and the actual knife itself. And this is a bit of fire cord, which maybe we'll look at in a minute. So I'm going to pop this back in the, in the sheath. Like so. As you can see, it's a dangler sheath, which means it dangles. And it's great for when you sit down because it doesn't get in the way. So what I'm going to do is we'll cut now. And we'll have a look at this knife in depth in a second. Okay? Okay, so most people want a, one thing for a bushcraft knife that's battening. I personally don't do this, I'd rather use a hatchet, but just to see if it works, we'll try it. So here's a piece of batten. We're going to go down here. And as you can see, that's battened rather nicely. So it passes that test. So that's a thumbs up on the battening test with the Bushman knife made by Simon Hardy. Okay, so let's see what it's like the chops like now. My wife found this stick and she said to me, make me a walking stick out of that. I've never actually done this before, but let's try out. So we're going to use the knife again and a baton, just see if we can chop the end off, okay? Now, that's the first time I've ever tried that, so, so far I'm pretty damn impressed with that. As I'd say in Forged on Fire, it will cut. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to do the other end of the walking stick, hopefully with a knife. Hopefully we're going to be as successful as we were on the other end, so part two. I've made a little cut in here just to see where we actually need to cut it, but it's not very really deep, trust me. And again, rather a nice cut on the end, so I'll take a step back or two now. So we plan on turning this into a walking stick. I might do a bit of whipping and we'll get back to this one. Okay, so remember me talking about fire cord, which is what I've got wrapped around the lanyard hole on here. There's two reasons you have a lanyard. One's because it gives you a bit of extra grip. If you wrap around a couple of times, you're not going to slip forward when you're actually using your knife. And of course, in an emergency situation, you may be able to see on the end of there some red pieces. Now that's the actual fire cord. Now this, this is the actual fire cord. It's paracord. There's just a small section of it. And you get this from edcgear.co.uk. I'll put a link up at the end. And it's quite reasonable. And when you take the sleeve off, you've got your six strands. Whoops, a little. There we go, you've got your six strands, plus you've got a red one. And what the red one is, is like impregnated with some kind of flame-making material. So if you come down here, another useful little tool. This here is a lighter clip from Screwpop, the same people who make the utility tool, Ron's Utility Knife version 2.0. It's quite good because it clips onto anything and it also designed to hold a mini bit lighter. So again, I'll put a link up to this as well. You can get these anywhere, but I'll put a link up to the main website that's supply them. Now this fire core's got a couple of uses. The first one is if you have a lighter, it basically turns it into a wick or an everlasting match. So you can save your matches and save your lighter and use that. And also, if you strip it back, you should be able to get a spark from it and we'll try that next, okay? So this is a useful little tool to get from the screw pot people and this one from EDC gear. 
very nice because it comes and clips straight onto your belt or your rucksack. So let's see if we can get this bad boy lit with a spark now. Okay, so let's see if we can get take three, this is by the way. Let's see if we can get this fire cord lit by using a ferrocium rod. Then this is just a cheap one that I found kicking around. I'm not even going to tell you about it. I bought it from China, it's crap, but it works as a sparker. And I'm also going to use the Bushman to do it. So with any kind of tinder, you need to break it up as small as you possibly can. So I'm going to unravel this. And get lots of exposed fibres. And I'm going to rough it up using the back of the knife. The knife's got a nice 90 degree spine, so it should do it quite nicely. So, I've got a nice fluffy bundle now, so let's see if this works now. And there we go, we can see it's actually worked. So, the fire cord is a good thing. This is a great little knife for getting a spark, and as you can see that's working nicely and that would get you a nice little fire started. Bearing in mind I have that much and I probably used about that much to get that going and as you can see it is still going. So once again the Bushman is proving itself as a good all-round bushcraft knife. Okay so we were talking about um, Simon's knife, the Bushman here, just how sharp it is. After all those little tests I've put it through you can see it still cuts. So. Let that be a warning to you, be very careful what you're doing. <laughs> okay, so that concludes my review of Simon Hardy's Ashdown Forest Craft Woodsman. Um, I've had to suspend this, I've pretty much finished it anyway because as you saw in a short video, I've managed to frap my finger up quite badly. So, great little knife, I actually love the way it feels in my hand. Um, I can't give you a price on this because they are all custom made, so you need to talk to Simon yourself and see what you actually want, what kind of handles, what kind of scale, what kind of legs, it does do variants on this. Of course the danglers, they can also come, they can also come with or without ferrocene rod sheets, etc. So contact Simon directly if you're interested in one of these or one of his other products. Thank you very much for watching, leave me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, leave me a like, subscribe to me on any of my other social media networks. Thanks for watching, take care of you on the road now, goodbye.